Hi, first of all, I want to say thank you for your support, okay, to support our product. Today, I'm going to show you the demo, how to use our Android box. Okay, uh, today I'm going to use this uh, Android box as a demo, lah, the X3. Okay, so uh, after you receive our box inside our package, we will put one sticker like this or a piece of paper showing our customer after sales support team number. Okay, our after sales support team number is 018-389-4781. Okay, if you need help, then you may contact this number to reach us. Okay, we will work start from the morning 9 a.m. to 5 p.m every weekday okay after you open our package you will get a TV box like this and then you get our adapter UK adapter like this okay do remember must use our adapter to operate this TV box okay don't use other adapter beside our adapter okay after that then you plug in okay you power on the TV box okay after power on, you will see this screen. Okay, means it will start to boost, to boot now. Okay, after that, then uh, you connect with your TV HDMI wire. Okay, I using my own HDMI wire or using the HDMI wire come with your TV box. Okay, this is my own uh, HDMI wire. I connect. After that, if you have a network cable, okay, network cable, then you connect with a network cable. And do remember, must use a Cat6 network cable, okay? Cat6 network cable. This is Cat6 network cable, okay? And then to plug here. Okay, if you buy a air mouse with us, MX3 air mouse or any air mouse, okay? I, today I'm going to show you is a MX3 air mouse. It looks like this, okay? It will come with a USB dongle like this, okay. And then you need to plug in the USB dongle here, okay. There is a USB slot. You need to plug it in here, okay. After you plug in, then you need to put in the battery for your MX3. It's behind the cover here, okay. You open the cover and then you put in the battery, okay. This is the MX3 Air Mouse. You need to buy extra. If you buy uh, extra, then you get this uh, MX3 air mouse. And their basic remote control, it looks like this. Okay, this is their basic remote control. Okay, and then also you need to put it in the battery for this remote control. Okay, now you can start to use Android box. After you connect everything done for your Android box, okay. And then uh, the Cat6 Locker Area Network Cable, okay, this is your router, okay, this is the uh, Cat6 cable from your TV box, so you can connect at the port number 3 or number 4 for, from your router, okay, remember it's connect from your router, this is the router from uh, Maxis, okay, do remember it's connect from your router port 3 or port 2, these two ports okay don't touch the port number one and port number four okay so we connect so okay this is the remote control do remember don't turn on the mouse button here okay if you turn on the mouse button then you need to use mouse button to control okay first i show you guys okay after, if you turn on the mouse button, the mouse will show up like this. Okay, after you turn on mouse button, you will see the button like this. Okay, so now, I only can left, right, up, down. So now I turn off the mouse button here, this button. Okay. Turn off already. Okay. Now it's off. Okay, after that, then you go to setting to set up your Wi-Fi. Go setting. And then uh, connection. If you don't have network cable connected, then you can use Wi-Fi also. Okay, so 
now our network cable is connected and then I remove the network cable so because I want to teach uh, some people they're using Wi-Fi to connect okay I take off the network cable okay let's see we use our five G network. Okay, because this box is come with doorbell Wi Fi. It will have a two G and five G. Okay. We connect with our Wi Fi now. Okay, and then wait for the connection. After connect successfully, then you back to the main screen. Okay, so now you are Wi-Fi connected. You see the Wi-Fi signal at, at the edge here. here. Wi-Fi signal means it's connected with a Wi-Fi. Okay, after that, then you need to put your TV box in the cool area or the hard surface without any heating because the heat may affect the TV box speed or it will burn your chipboard if you put in the hot area. Okay, if the TV box uh, don't get any HDMI connection, okay, maybe the connection here is loosened. Means that you have to pull it off, okay, and then plug it back, okay firmly put it back firmly so it will show the screen at your TV here okay one thing I need to tell you guys okay all the program installed here okay these are our pre-installed program uh, I will, will show you in the the other video to teach you how to use the different apps for Malay English Chinese and India apps okay to get your TV, to get your channels. Okay, the next video I will teach you. Okay, now back to setting. Okay, all these apps we manually install for you. Okay, if you go setting and go to this device preference, if you press the reset button, press the reset button means that all the apps we pre install for you will wipe off. So all the apps will be missing after factory reset so don't go and press the reset button here and under this setting menu you can change your language here to chinese or to malay okay or english okay so normally malaysian we use these three language lah. okay now we back to setting here Okay, this is the special function by TX3 only. Okay, there is a super user here. You go super user, cross root access means to make your box unroot. For those uh, Astro Go user, you have to go by cross root access and then restart your box to get your box unroot and able to access to Astro Go. Okay. Now I restart the box. Okay, for turn off your TV box, do remember every time when you want to uh, go sleep or go out, okay, do remember to shut down your TV box just like shut down your computer. How to shut down your TV box? You go to your remote control, long press the power button, okay, long press the power button, okay, the it will show this power off okay this is the shutdown button if you only press one time this power button at your remote control it will force under sleep mode means that if uh, next time you turn it on by this power button and then you wake up from sleep you may experience your tv box will lagging uh, many issues happen i uh, will overheat issue okay all these things will happen so you guys might go to this uh, wrong press the power button and power off select the power off power off here okay power off and then this tv box on we will go shut down properly 
okay now this tv box already shut down so i wake up i turn on this uh, remote control button to wake it up okay now start to boot okay means already restart now this box will change to unroot box so you may able to go access your astro go this astro go account you need to log in your own astro go account okay we don't provide any astro go account for you you need to have your own account okay after startup this is the home screen okay now i'm going to show you one of our apps okay to give you an some uh, example okay let's say we go to this uh, live net tv okay so anything asking you you just press continue or allow if any pop out window asking you allow or not okay so we go to continue and then press allow if asking allow So wait it for the first time loading. Load until 100% and we load out all the channels. Normally we use a live net TV for the spot channels. Okay, let's say we go to this uh, spot category. Okay, here are the spot category. I show you one of the example let's say if you want to watch epl you can try to go there to watch epl sky sports epl here sky sport premier league okay you can choose the fastest link link number one here always is the fastest okay after that then you can choose either mx player or android player okay now i choose the android player and then I set it as always so we will always use the apps Android player to play this live net TV okay so this is the sky spot channels if you face any lagging in these channels okay so you can switch from one channel to the other channels if you face lagging okay if one cannot watch then you may go to here or being sports okay being sports to watch the football channel at being sports okay okay so you choose one of the link link number one is the fastest link number two is hd you can choose either link okay so this is the being spot channels for HD1. Sometimes uh, maybe you are facing some advertisements pop out and then you just need to click the U-turn button to turn off the advertisement. So here U-turn button to turn off the advertisement. Okay, I back to home screen. Also, sometimes if you are facing some lagging issue at your Android box, you can go to here at the left side. Okay, there is a recycle pin here. You press it so to clean up all the memory to make your TV box running better. So this is all about the basic setting, basic knowledge of the TV box. Okay. If for the buyers uh, using this uh, MX3 Air mouse, this Air mouse, if you buy MX3 with us, okay, you will have this mouse cursor here, the mouse cursor here. You press the mouse cursor, it will come on the mouse button like this, okay. So the mouse will follow your movement, moving left and follow left, moving right and follow right, okay. So if you want to go downward, you can press the OK button and drag it up and drag it down okay this is how we use the mouse 
okay and then if uh, any program you just press the ok button to enter like okay google chrome i press the ok button okay if you want to return means that you have to press the u-turn button here is the u-turn button here u-turn button means that to close any pop out windows then you need to press the u-turn button okay so i press it u-turn button and then you need to power off by using this power button okay same also long press the power button okay it will pop out the power off window okay after that you press okay to shut down the tv box okay some of the mx3 buyers is asking me okay why cannot use the power button to turn on the tv box you press here but cannot turn on okay here is the way i teach you how to use the power button to turn on the tv box from the left side okay this is the basic remote control from the right side is the mx3 if you buy the combo backup package with first so this is the mx3 air mouse okay if you want to using a mouse to turn on your tv box you follow this step okay first you go to this tv button you hold the tv button for five seconds until it blink like this okay after that then you go to mask facing together okay this remote control here the infrared output mask facing the infrared output here this is the infrared sensor okay and then you press the power on button here if you flash blinking like this and then you learn the power button by using power button also press here okay after done learning then you press tv button again press here okay so now you are done we will try with using mx3 air mouse button, power button to turn on the tv box so now just now we already shut down the tv box okay now we need to wake up by this uh, using this power button okay what you need to do is your distance should not more than three meter from the tv box and using this infrared facing here facing this area and then you press the power button will wake will turn on the tv box okay now i turn one time okay so this mx3 you already learned this power button from the tv box remote control so now you can operate your mx3 air mouse with your tv box perfectly okay all these are the basic of the our tv box thank you for watching